everyone, it's Amber, and today I'm going to be doing the top five contemporary books that I need to read because I do not read as much contemporary as I do other genres, so I have a lot more of those than I have of other genres to read. But let's just get straight into it. First book on my list is To All the Boys I Loved Before by Jenny Han. This is being turned into a TV show, so I really need to read this before that comes out. I think it's a TV show, not a movie. And it's going on Netflix, and I really, really, really want to read this before the TV show slash movie slash, I think, I don't know which one it is. This one, I've heard so much about, everyone loves it, and I just really, 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 really need to read this and get on it because I'm just so bad with reading contemporaries. Next one on my list is Second Chance Summer by Morgan Matson, And this one is a, obviously, contemporary by Morgan Matson, who's one of my favorite authors. And I've read all of her books except for this one and Save the Date, which is the one that just came out. But this one's been out for so long. But what's been holding me back from this one is that people say it's sad. And I don't want to read it because it's sad and I don't like sad books that much. But I really want to read it because it's Morgan Matson, So I definitely need to read this soon and I will get on it, I promise. I just, I don't know, it's just because it's sad. Next one on my list is Anna in the French Kiss by Stephanie Perkins, which everyone has read. And basically when you get into contemporary, this is the one that you read. And me being me hasn't read it yet. This is what I need to read. Um, and I want to read the others in the series too, Lola and the Boy Next Door and Isla and the Happily Ever After. And these have been out forever and I haven't read them and everyone has read them and I just feel like an awful human that I haven't read them yet, but hopefully I will enjoy them and read them soon and I just really, really want to read the series. Next book on my list is Eliza and Her Monsters by Francesca Zappia. This one it seems so cool and it has a bunch of art and like comic book strips and stuff in it because it's about this girl that like writes a web comic and it seems so fun and so cool and I know it does deal with like anxiety and issues like that so it seems like a really fun relevant cool read and I really really want to read this soon but I just haven't gotten to it so hopefully I will read this soon but this is more recent of a book so this isn't as like heartbreaking that I haven't read it. The last and final book on my list is Stay Sweet by Simone Vivian. This one just came out and I not that mad at myself for not having read this because it just came out very 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 recently and I just want to buy it and read it because it sounds so fun and so cute. It's about this girl that gets a summer job in an ice cream truck and it's like an all women's ice cream truck and it just sounds so cute and so fun and I know that there's a romance in it and stuff like that and it just sounds like a really cute summer read and I really want to read this book as well. So that was a very quick video. Those are all the books that I have on my list to read for contemporaries. Well, my top five books that I need to read for contemporaries because I have an infinite list of contemporaries because I don't really read contemporary that often. Those are my top five contemporary books that I'm super, super excited to read and also that everyone has been like hounding me about reading because I haven't read them yet. I promise that I'll get to them soon because these are like very very high on my list. Definitely let me know down below which one your favorite is and which one I should read first. Also make sure to give this video a thumbs up to let me know that you liked it and also subscribe down below if you want to see more videos like this and I leave all my social media in the description box if you're interested in seeing me on Instagram or Twitter or anything like that and I'll see you next time. Bye! that I say downtown the lights out but we choose to stay I don't know where this may go 